Let me see, matter of fact. What you looking for? What are, do I need to pull something? Well, this guy said, like clockwork, college degree requirements are making their way back to tech job postings. And I said most of them never stopped being on there. That's what I said. Who lied? Somebody lied. Because the thing, you got to think about the grift. I can sell you a $10,000, $15,000 course and say, you need no degree and this and that. And convince you. I can Because I did it. See, a lot of times uh, what happens is, and I'll, I've compared the way that the people getting into tech is similar to like MLM approaches. Mm-hmm. They'll use their story, but we know that we focus on the majority, not the majority. I said that. I just put that in my story. I be going all, mm-hmm. I be playing I be mm-hmm. Black Power all day. But I just thought like, okay, yes, it is true. You don't necessarily need a degree to get into tech. That's true. You can say that because you can say, okay, I've looked at X amount of job postings and it says no degree required, experience, or whatever the case may be. But that's for the majority. We have to be twice as good. So yeah, If you don't have the completion for the protection. Look, you see how brown I am. Like, so I tell people, if, you, if someone comes to me, hey, I'm thinking about going to do it. Do it. Because also, too, although it may be a long experience or whatever, you have doc, you have projects. You have papers. You can talk to how you were thinking, why you came to this conclusion. Like, you can say, okay, hey, I haven't done that, but in my studies, I've done X, and we did this, or uh, capstone. You know what I mean? Like, you can so, still speak to some experience. As you say that, I catch a lot of flack for talking about WGU, WGU in a way that's unfavorable to some people, mm-hmm. unfavorable to some people. I say, hey, if you're already in the industry, go get WGU. Mm-hmm. It's cheap, easy to complete. Mm-hmm. If you're not... Go to a degree program that's going to be more up to date. That's not going to force you to get all these certs. That's going to have legitimate capstones mm-hmm. that may require you even to build stuff that you can talk to. Really, exactly. And resume and stuff uh-huh. like that. And then I get different people telling me all this other stuff. Listen, if you listen to the video, I'm not saying you shouldn't go. I'm just telling you why you may struggle. Not only that, other people are struggling because they're going there again. The new degrees that are not yet on Job requirements, like, you don't find really too many job requirements asking for a cybersecurity degree. So it may not be that beneficial. Go get one that you'll see all the time. Oh, must have majored in computer science, information systems, Mm -hmm. data science, Mm -hmm. software engineering. Get something that's already on there that people have seen before. Mm -hmm. Because the stuff that you learn in there, you can learn in your job. Right, right. So it's like all those things. And I know what it is. If people spend some money on something, they don't want to feel away. I wouldn't want to feel away Mm -hmm. if I spent money on going to school. But... At the end of the day, it is what it is. And a lot of people don't realize I'm always coming from a place of dealing with actual clients. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming from a person that's just a opinion. that just want to, you know, make headlines. Mm -hmm. Like I'm always basing off of who I'm talking to, what their experience are. Yeah. yeah, The data. Mm -hmm. Then. My whole thing too is it's a lot of people that say you don't need a degree in tech with a degree. Excuse me. You are not a product of that. So I don't, I never engage in that. Go get a college. If you want to get a college degree, go get it. You want to get, and don't get, I mean, don't get, like someone called me and they want to do a consultation. They're like, yeah, I'm going to get a humanities degree. You're going to waste your money. Yeah, it's at such and such school. It doesn't matter. The name is, it's the name of the school and the price that comes with it. So here is where I tell people if they don't want to do a degree, they should go get like a lower level, just IT job. Because at least they can go somewhere and maybe, like I said, this is where a help desk or mm-hmm. another type of lower level job mm-hmm. comes into play where they get the job and now that job has tuition reimbursement and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. Yeah. So they can make school a little bit more affordable on them. Right. So that's the way I try to tell people, say, now you're going through school, you're learning school stuff and you're learning skills. Right. So I try to say that for some people because some people do not have the liberty mm-hmm. of doing that. And like I said, I'm a big advocate of bachelor degrees changing to really be similar to master degree. I agree. Because my master's degree, it was cybersecurity, all cybersecurity. Like my capstone, we had a simulation and we would wake up and it would be like a, something occurred. And we were like scrambling, trying to do certain. And we all were like, had different roles. And we had, to, and I was like, ooh, like this is. Yeah. And so I was able to talk about that type of stuff in my interview too. So I think it should be a very, not say aggressive, but just direct type you know, of. No, it should be direct. Like I went back to the bachelor's. And I had just out of college just taken British lit. Why am I taking British and English lit again? Why am I taking Algebra, math again? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking these classes that I'm not going to need anymore. Give me, hey, instead of that, give me a class on email etiquette. Mm-hmm. How to make a proper email. Mm-hmm. 
how to use my check spelling. Mm-hmm. Like stuff Excel, people need to know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, now, we do always do like the beginner IT intro course. So you do Excel, you learn access, okay, you learn Word. But yeah, that, that's they need to give you the more important things. Hey, how to understand. Look, give me a class on benefits. Understand my benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Because like you just... Like, first year, it's like you just repeat high school all over again, but at a college level. And I think that's why people was like, why am I here? Why am I at an 8 o'clock class? Why am I talking about world history? Why do I have to take this? That's why I wasn't going to class. I'm telling you, listen, I know. That's why I was partying. Listen, you, I think everybody first year, like, my first quarter was bad. My final A was messed up. (laughs) I had to drop some classes. Mm -hmm. I was scheduled the wrong class. I didn't know about rating my professor. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would go in world history class, go to sleep, turn the recorder on my Motorola Joy, and just... <laughs> oh, yeah, I had my little razor out, like, trying to, yeah. And just let that recorder... I'm just like, I'm not interested in what Magellan did today. <laughs> I will say that one history class that kind of shaped who I am today, and Nick, when I went to a and I had an African-American history class, and that lady had me, like... Now, that's like a good thing, because it's interesting. Now, one of my more favorite classes that I liked that wasn't necessarily... Curriculum base. I mean, it was in my curriculum, but I probably would have take took it anyway. With sociology, mm, so soci- yeah. we did an exercise, and it was like, "Hey, I want you to write." Um, I forgot what groups of people we we picked, but like write these, um, what are they called? Stereotypes. Mm-hmm. And you found out every group talked about each other. Black people talk about black people. <laughs> the Native Americans talk about Native American white people. Like mm-hmm. you found out that, so it was like it was funny. Like he was a really good teacher. Like taking those type of classes, sociology, and like. Psychology, which is, I will say, to get into cybersecurity, especially if you want to do, like, insider threat or something on the blue team, psychology is an underrated major. 100%. 100%. And, two, so I didn't realize that until I got into my Ph.D. program when I had to find theories that were applicable. So even, for example, people who avoid, like, STD testing, like, these avoidant behaviors, right, same thing that maybe like seem hard or they just don't. So you, it, there's a theory for that, and you can apply these certain type of theories to how people act or things that occur in like cybersecurity. Yeah. Like one of my papers is actually I think that the the article I posted about African the barrier and African Americans getting into cybersecurity. Like there are theories that I did in there that are, that are applicable. Like the why. So psychology is so important. Definitely, because all you're doing is you're trying to think about you and the hacker. Chess game, why would they do the mm. things they do? And then you think about like, what type of things would come up in insider uh, threat. Like, mm-hmm. who's this person related to? Um, that's the other thing with the North Korean things. Those people. Or, no, this is the thing, too, where I say a lot of the, what I think is going to happen, too, a lot of the companies getting over, hiring people to work offshore because it's cheaper. Mm. I think a lot of that's going to go to the wayside because we find out, it has been studies showing that those people sell American data and stuff to their, com- their country. I mean, why wouldn't they? Yeah, so I think a lot of that stuff is finna come away because certain people are having their, like, contracts because mm-hmm. I get hit up all the time for like, a sock lead, sock manager. Yeah, they say, hey, they only want Americans working in this sock mm-hmm. for this thing. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, because yeah, they US don't want you to use yeah. all yeah. this data. Yeah. So we, we see those things happening and we see, like, human behavior, like, when it comes to fishing. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you know I got this picture of you? Oh, your mother died, or I saw what you did. Hey, all these things, or sometimes they don't even start that extreme. They just act like they know you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like when a, a guy or a girl's like trying to get somebody out of you, so they just befriend you long enough, so they hook you in, mm-hmm. and maybe the day your boyfriend or girlfriend broke up with you, and that's when they pounce. Mm-hmm. Similar to the people on, they not necessarily throwing you officially gonna. They just acting like they know you. Then eventually, that's when they come in to compromise you. They just trying to get you to respond back exactly, so they can figure out all the information they need to see. They might act like they're a real vendor. Yeah, I even get text messages now. Hey, Miranda, are you in? Yeah. What the? I'm like, wait a minute, what? And I'm like, who you got for a vendor? AT and T. AT and T had the big breach. Yeah. Hey, Miranda, you there? Are you in? Did you come in today? Listen. Yeah. So sometimes they won't say, they won't say my name. They'll say, oh, dad, this is so and so. Who is this? Oh, like, well, you got the wrong number. It's like you just trying to figure <laughs> out who you're texting. Yeah, that's true. Yep. So they can just start building up 